Welcome to Art Swarm episode 13. Art Swarm is an arts video programme where we invite people to make something, anything, on a particular theme or subject and then we broadcast it to the world to showcase your new video and audio creations. So everything you see on the show is a world premiere, it's something you've not seen before. It's something that's typically made specially just for this programme, so that's what makes it very exciting. So I'm going to bring you some new things. This week's theme is silent films. And we're going to begin with a work from Andrew Williams entitled The Treasure Hunt, which has got lots of bits of silent film mythology mixed in. We've got damsels in distress, we've got evil villains. Let's see what you make of this. Next we have a film by Ian Todd entitled Behind You. 
For, for me, this is about the paranoia of the urban environment. It's an urban versus nature clash for me. Let's see what you think of this. And we'll have another film from Ian Todd later in the programme. Next, Deborah Edgley's film Mission compares the busy and silent life of ants with busy city life. My film Happy After Ever is a gentle film with a slight narrative of memory which is a series of still scenes almost like a virtual photograph album.
And now we present two films from my special guest of the day, Dr. Nicholas Mee, who is an author and scientist. These two films illustrate symmetry by moving a camera through a tetrahedron arrangement of mirrors which reflect one edge. The effect is something like flying through a honeycomb. I don't want to ask warm, I'm joined with my special guest of the day, the author of the previous video, which you've just seen, Dr. Nicholas Mee. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Art Swarm. So we've just seen some videos of a honeycomb and flying through them, which is very symmetrical, and you've sent those videos to illustrate symmetry. So yes. tell us something about the videos. Well, um, I included uh, images from these videos in my first book, Higgs Force, which is about the um, recent discovery of the Higgs boson at the Large Hadron Collider. And um, symmetry and pattern are important in understanding the way the world works. They're at the heart of modern physics. So my idea was to use the kaleidoscope as a way of illustrating um, why symmetry is important and just to produce nice images that would lead into um, these ideas about the structure of matter and particle physics. It's interesting that beauty and creativity are linked to science in a fundamental way. What, what, how did you come to create these images in the first place? Was it well, the images were created um, before I started writing the book, actually, um, more as a, um, a sort of a mathematically intriguing way to present images on screen. They were produced in a ray tracing program, Povray, using virtual kaleidoscopes. Hmm. So, um, yeah, symmetry comes about when you've got an object and you, uh, say, rotate it or reflect it, and you perform this operation on an object and the object still appears the same after the operation. So for instance, a regular hexagram, a hexagon can be rotated through 60 degrees and it still appears the same as it was before. So that is the symmetry of a hexagon. And um, so by aligning mirrors at precise angles, you can, you can produce images with these sorts of symmetries. Mm. And the, the honeycombs were produced by, with um, te uh, kaleidoscopes where the mirrors form a tetrahedron and the virtual camera, camera is actually inside this mirrored tetrahedron and the edges are all reflections of a single edge drawn within that tetrahedron so it's multiple reflections. Ah, I see. So it's it seen, well as a writer and a scientist you're constantly illustrating scientific ideas in a, in a way that ordinary people can understand. Do you think that yes. it helps to do that in a visual way? I thought I've always used um, a visual approach in, in my writing. So I write a blog as well and um, I've written software in the past and produced animations such as these kaleidoscope animations and yeah I think it definitely helps to get over um, maybe quite technical ideas have a, a visual illustration certainly. Hmm. And you've got a, a new book coming out relatively soon, The Cosmic Mystery Tour. Yes, um, the idea was to write a book for the internet age really, so um, it's got um, 25 short chapters, just about 1,000 to 1,500 words with a lot of illustrations, so it's a book that you can dip into and it's about um, 
physics and astronomy, but in a in a like a historical and cultural yes, context. Yes, the thing that makes your books interesting is they're all about the people who discovered them. It's yes. it, 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 they're really human stories that make them really interesting because they're all about the lives of the yeah. the, the scientists and how they discovered these things. That's what. Well, I, th I think that brings it to life. So I like to explain uh, the science and the physics and astronomy, um, but it, it, it makes it a more human story if you've got the people who did the, this work as well. And how the ideas came about. Yes. So when's that book coming out? Is it finished? It's, it should be out. It's going out with Oxford University Press in January. Yeah, it's finished. It's going through the final stage, production stages. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining me on Art Swarm, and we're honoured to have some of your animations in the programme as well. And now we're going to feature another two animations, two kaleidoscope animations uh, by Dr. Me. And now in our silent film themed art swarm, we'll continue with a poem by Andy N entitled A Burial of Magic, which explores lots of things about the mystique of the silent film era. Walking naked into the lake, the camera remains static with no sign of a caption until well after the water covered her shoulders, then her hair. The images follow the flick of her hair with smoke rolling all over the side of the camera from the chaos left behind, painting over myths. Kissing shut her eyes wordlessly in a powerful magic over the moonlight in a summit of bone and black fly, lost in a broken glass of space, breathless in a final. And next, a second film by Ian Todd and Silent Earp. This is simply entitled Learn Brexit. And well, it's open to interpretation, but for me, it's about disillusionment is about a zombie-like state between normal life and the frenesity of contemporary politics. And now the conclusion of the adventures of Clive, Anna and company in Andrew Williams' film, The Treasure Hunt.
And that's it for the conclusion of episode 13 of Art Swarm, our silent film special. Many thanks to my special guest, Dr. Nicholas Mee, for joining me. You can connect with Art Swarm on Twitter at Art Swarm TV. And you can also visit my website, markshiki.com slash artswarm.php to find out how you can submit a film to Artswarm, because that's the thing about this programme. It's designed by the viewers. You can make something to send to me, and that would be fantastic. Uh, my name's Mark Sheiky, and the next episode will be Norse mythology. So that's a very interesting one. I can't wait to see what people come up with for that. In the meantime, I'll see you at the next episode.